Today we're checking out our brand new custom unboxing knife by Benchmade. Welcome to Game From A Box, I'm Sir Joe. I am still slightly fighting off a cold, and if you're not into knives, this is gonna be a weird episode. But since I started this show, I knew I wanted a custom branded knife just to open boxes with. I thought that'd be awesome, and now that day has come. This won't be a review of the knife itself as much as the customization process, so I won't spend too much time over details here because I'm just not as well-spoken as those home shopping network segment people. And the nice thing about these practice katanas, oh, oh, that hurt. So I'll try to keep it short. So as an EDC enthusiast, I do have a small number of pocket knives and one of my favorite brands is Benchmade. They use what's by far my favorite locking mechanism, the Axis Lock, and I love their build quality as well as blade shapes. But most importantly, on their site, they offer custom builds of the Griptilian or Barrage along with their mini models, and we chose to go with the mini Barrage, although we already have a special edition one. It has an assisted opening feature that I'm a big fan of, great grip style, and it also locks. So once you choose your knife model, step two is the blade. You get to choose a blade color. We have 10 options, but I'm not sure what method or finish they're using, so I went with satin. This way, nothing gets scraped off for damaged. As for the shape, they only have drop points, but it's my favorite, so we're good there. And they also offer serrated, but straight edge is much easier to maintain, and it's a favorite. Now with steel, you have more choices, but some add to the price. Considering we're using this just to cut through tape and cardboard, we'll be sharpening it a lot, we went with the default 154 cm steel, same as our mini griptilian, which has worked really well for us so far. Step three is to personalize it with a laser mark and you have three options to play with on both sides of the blade. First is text where you can type in whatever you want, your name, initials, quotes, etc. And there's also a few fonts to choose from. For the second, you can choose a pattern from their stock library and place it wherever you want. Third is image, and you can choose from their stock library where they have a lot to choose from, or you can upload your own image, which is what we did. So first we got rid of all the colors in our logo, blacked it out, and then we exported those as PNGs with transparency at around 3000 by 3000 resolution. When you upload it, it pops up over the knife with some transform controls. You can scale it, rotate it, and position it exactly where you want. But keep in mind, you have to work with the logos already on the blade itself, and it won't go over the sharp edge. You can preview it, and if it's good to go, you can move on to the handle. First, we have to choose a material, starting with the ever popular G10, which is an additional $60, and you have three texture options but you have less colors to choose from, so that's why we went with glass-filled nylon. It's the opposite of the G10 because we have one texture, but way more color options. With the Mini Barrage, we can choose not only individual colors for the left and right handles, but also the backspacer. We decided to keep it a bit low profile since the blade is already loud enough with the logo on there, so we went with this forest green, which is a limited edition color, for both sides of the handle, and yellow for the backspacer, same as our logo. Then you can also colorize the axis, liner, screws, and clip, which we decided to keep silver along with the split arrow clip. The last step is to view it and of course check out. After that, we got ours in about 10 days, which is what they state on their site, but we never got any confirmation that it was being made or that it shipped, which it did, and all of a sudden we were surprised with a box at our front door. Anyways, let's open it up. Benchmade Knife Company on this nice blue box. On the side, we have our order info and let's get in there. So we can see our knife peeking out from this little pouch here. And there's our silver split arrow clip with the access lock info card. Let's take that off. So first impressions on the color, the forest green looks really nice and I love that backspacer in the yellow finish. Right above the backspacer, we have our lock that slides very nicely and secure. And right there, we can see our logo peeking out at the side of the blade. Very excited about this. By the way, big fan of the silver here. Originally, I was going to go black it out, but I'm glad I didn't. The spring for the assisted opening feature just easily pops it out with a really satisfying click. And there's our perfectly laser marked logo on that very nice drop point blade. 
I know I'll mostly be opening boxes with this, but this is such an awesome addition to anyone's EDC. I'm honestly surprised. A part of me did not expect it to come out so perfect. I thought I'd see some type of low res lines across it or um, some type of inconsistency, but the tech has truly evolved and just, it worked out so, so well. And I think this will really make people look twice when I pop it open for each of our unboxings. I'm ready for those comments. And there it is. So if you were considering it before, I definitely recommend their custom laser mark knives. You get a great product and the details on the laser mark are just about perfect. Anyways, I'm sure I'll accidentally cut myself with it on one of these episodes, so make sure to subscribe for that. But what do you guys think about it? Did I go too far? Should I have customized it any different? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.